midweek. This is when Lisa's show and guess what? My name's Lisa. I want to thank you for tuning in again for a repeat time and if it's your first time here, welcome. So this is like a midweek where I feel like I am getting prepared a little bit more, working on a bunch of projects that I have wanted to work on and didn't get a chance to. But let me quickly point out, this is a ready to wear today. This is a sweater I've had a couple of years with just a t-shirt underneath. It's frigidly cold. We had negative, um, negative wind chills this morning and I think it's about 15 degrees this afternoon. <clears throat> this is something I crocheted many years ago. I believe I used to carry this pattern. I used to sell this pattern in my Etsy shop for this cowl or whatever you want to call it. I actually wear it in the winter over my ears and my head. Let me see if I can show you. But it's a pretty easy crochet pattern. And I kind of do this. And then in the back, it's more open. <laughs> Winters in Indiana. So yeah, it's a pretty simple pattern. Kind of like textured, it almost looks like a little mini popcorn stitch, but it's it's not. I wear this most of the winter. And I should check to see if I still have my Etsy shop. If I do, I'll put a link down. I used to sell a couple of crochet patterns and um, now I've been doing a lot of sewing and I don't do as much crochet, but this is still an easy peasy pattern. So if you're looking for something fun and easy, um, this was very simple. And if I can find the pattern, I will put a link to get. Otherwise, I made a list of all the sewing projects that I either put things off to the side specifically for the fabric. Um, some instances I had cut something out and then did not come back to it. And then there are the projects I've been ongoing. And one of my main goals is to start working on ways to use all the scraps I've been saving. And through that, I want to make my knitted scraps. I'm either making uh, knickers for myself, my nieces, or I'm going to be sewing them together and make like a, a Franken shirt out of them, which I think would be really cool. So I haven't started doing that yet, but I've been making the knickers. I will insert a picture of the knickers I have recently made. I think I showed some of them on my last Friday Sews video. And then I did make my niece a pair of pants out of this really cute <laughs> unicorn fabric that I got on clearance at Walmart like six or seven months ago, over the early summer, I think. I had cut out a tank top for her and didn't work on it. So I gave her the pants, but I never finished the tank top. So I started working on the tank top yesterday and I'm leaving it open. I'm going to do uh, snaps down the back of it. So that way, if she wants to wear it over something, she can, or she can have it completely buttoned up. But I'm thinking it might be a good, uh, it's, it's just a tank top, but I'm thinking it could be something that could be a cover-up <clears throat> over a bathing suit, or if you wanted to leave it like that, or button down for easy on, easy off. So I did bias tape around the neckline. I already got my tag on it, so I will show you my tag that I made for my nieces. And then now all I have to do is the armbands and then the hem, and then finish installing the rest of the snaps. Um, she is going to be eight, so I think this is gonna be something that will probably still fit her, especially if it can be a little open in the back. However, <clears throat> I think she's outgrown the unicorns, which is really sad. So I've been working on that. <clears throat> Next up is what I think was a remnant suiting fabric that came in a Minerva grab bag and it's this chartreuse color and it is shiny on the right side and more matte on the wrong side. 
So this was, this is what I've been working on when I take a break from that simple project or vice versa. When I need a break from this project, I work on the simple tank top. And this is the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans. I had one meter of this it feels like a suiting fabric, like a heavier weight suiting fabric. And if you look at frays, tragically. And I've been really anxious to do the Dawn jeans by Megan Nielsen. I have the pattern. That was my Christmas present. My boyfriend printed everything out at work on his big printer. And so I traced out the shorts version. What's great about the Megan Nielsen uh, Dawn jeans is it's a four in one pattern, basically. You have um, a wide leg, a straight leg, a tapered leg, and then shorts. And then there's three options for the fly. You can, and it's all, it looks like a mid to high rise, so kind of like a mom jeans pattern, but I'm really excited about it. And then the fly is a simple zip fly, which I'm doing on this trial run, or you could have an exposed button fly or a a, a regular button fly where it does still have the flap. So I'm doing a traditional lapped zip and this is how far I've gotten. I got the zip installed. I did my stay stitching, I got my zip installed and now I have to, the next step I think is to sew my crotch. Um, it's a bright green, it's not <laughs> It's not a color I usually wear, but for a wearable muslin, I'm really excited about it because the main goal was just to make sure I had a practice run at the hardest parts, plus, um, because I didn't even use a denim zip, I used just whatever zip I had. I had this like khaki colored zip in, in so I used that. Um, I want to be able to practice my top stitching. I wanted to be able to practice the fly and just the general construction and make sure the seat and the crotch fit great. And we'll see. I'm working on it. I can't try to, I think I cut a size 16, but not bad. <clears throat> my top stitching could be better. <laughs> However, I do, some of it is user error. Some of it is. I am ready for a, a new machine. So I am looking into a couple of different machines. Um, something I'm going to take a step up, but I don't want to spend a lot. Um, and then I think maybe in a couple of years after that, I'll be ready for my, you know, a really nice, I really want a fast ambition. <laughs> That's the one I really want, but I don't think I'm there yet. So um, this one was like $68. And I think I've had it for about seven or eight years now. And I think I'm ready to, to uh, move up. And actually, I think I do so much that it, it's a wear on this brother, beginner brother. So I do think I'm ready to move up. And I'm thinking maybe a Husqvarna. Um, we'll see. I might get another brother, but just a, a, a different, um, different version. So anyway, I've been working on that. How boring is this already, right? I have two more things I want to share with you. My mom tried on her muslin of the Stella Joggers by Tilly and the Buttons. I made her a size four. They fit her good. She does need them to be about two inches longer with, because I did not put a cuff on them. So I need to extend it about two inches longer but she liked the size, I think it was the four I made her, and she liked it. So I am ready to make her final version, which is this lovely green. It kind of looks a little, it's a dark green, but it's a melage. So it, it does have that heathered look to it. And as you can see, the inside, I've already pre-washed it, is this lovely, fluffy fleece backing. And I have a pair of Stella joggers out of this fabric, but a different color. And I wear them all the time. I love them. They are so soft. This inside does not seem to pill. I put it in the dryer. 
it doesn't, it is so comfortable and nice and feels like a hug. So I'm really looking forward to that. I need to cut these out. Now that I know where my mom's fitting lies, I'm going to cut those, this and work on that. And I'm going to line it with some art gallery fabric from a shirt I made my mom for her birthday. So the pockets will be lined with that. So she'll kind of have a matching set. And with 15 degree as a high for today's temps, she could sure use those, I guarantee. Those I plan to work on this week. And then I have this pattern I keep coming back to. I have not made these pants yet. And so this is my ask this week is, has anyone made the pants for Simplicity 9116? They're a wide leg, elasticated waist, simple, very simple pant pattern. I have made this shirt. I've made the shirt twice, one for me and one for my sister. And I would, I probably would make another one of these shirts because I did mine differently. I didn't follow the instructions so much. But as you can see, these pants, they're a wide leg. I want to make these, but I also want to make the Anna Allen Pomona pants. Those come with a similar wide leg, but they also come with a tapered leg. And I actually am not a fan of the wide leg with my height and my hips. So I'm nervous to try these. So if you have made these, let me know how wide of a leg are they. I've been hunting online. I've been hunting Instagram. I have been hunting pattern review. I've been hunting Google. And I cannot seem to find someone that has made these pants that has posted a picture of themselves in these pants. I may have found one. And that was a skinny mini. And... No offense to the skinny minis out there, but I'm a shorty curvy. So I just haven't, I haven't been able to pull the trigger considering I have other projects that I need to get done first. I have, this is again from Minerva. It is a suiting, it's lightweight, but it's a navy and it's also has that heathered look to it. Melage, whatever you want to call it. And I have plenty of it to make a pair of pants and if those pants don't turn out, probably repurpose them into a different pants pattern, but it wouldn't be the Anna Allen Pomona pants because those have no side seam. It's the front and the back are one piece, and so it only has the inner leg seam. So I wouldn't be able to use them for these, but this would be great. Um, I want to make pants out of this really bad now I don't want to make the dawn jeans out of this but it, um, I do want to make a pair of pants out of that. I have been trying to get more organized with my sewing I have this huge list of the projects in the they're not in an order I want to do them but projects that I want to do so I what I don't get done by Sunday I think I will organize into a plans video for February so I can give myself a little bit of accountability and try to get those projects done. Because as soon as those get done, I can start working on my springtime um, clothes. And I think, I know it sounds weird, it's really cold outside, I wanna make a lot of snuggly clothes, but I think now is the time I should be focusing on spending time towards my spring makes. Because I don't wanna be in spring making spring clothes. I actually want to start doing things a little early. I have looked and saw that McCall's Vogue and Simplicity, a lot of the big four have put out now or trickling out their spring uh, pattern releases. There's some really good ones. There's a couple of vintage uh, reprints that they put up on Simplicity that I think are worth a peek. Um, if you like the vintage, style which I absolutely do love. I love everything 1960s so I always look for the 1960s reprints. I'm trying to save money and I'm trying not to spend so much because I do have a nice stash of fabric up here even though not everything is coordinatable, co will coordinate well with each other. I think it's still I need to focus on using some of those up especially for trial runs and um 
that's the hardest thing. That's the hardest thing. And if you have watched Made by Pam, last week it felt like, her Friday shows felt like an admission of, you know, like Fabric Synonymous. <laughs> like she was making her statement, like I'm addicted to fabric and I have more than, she has like a thousand pieces of fabric, she, she estimates. And can we even use up that much in our lifetime? I don't know. Maybe some people can. I, I, I don't know. But I felt bad for Pam because she knows she has a lot of fabric and she's compelled to buy more. And I think we've all been in that spot. I've never been in that spot that I own that much fabric. But the feeling like I own, own a lot of fabric and I really shouldn't be spending my money and I have more fabric. I have this gorgeous fabric from Beyond the Pink Door. And it is like a jungle print. And it's a viscose jersey. And when I got it, I, I love it. I love the print. But it I never had a viscose jersey before. So they are thinner, uh, lighter weight jersey. So my intentions originally were to make a Freya dress out of it. And then when I got it, I thought, well, that might not work for the weather we have when I would hoping to wear a Freya dress because it's a mock turtleneck and it would be long sleeves but it would be too thin of a fabric to be practical for me to wear in the middle of winter. So I will probably more than likely turn it into a Freya top and then I'll have extra left over. Could I get a deer and doe plantain tea out of it? I don't know. I gotta have to play with the print and I also don't want um I want to be strategic on my fronts. So I don't have like a tiger like in the wrong spot or an animal head like somewhere it shouldn't be. So we'll see. I will play with that if anything. And that's also fabric I'm just, I fell absolutely head over heels in love with and didn't, I'm scared to cut into when I shouldn't be. I know it's still going to be a great Freya. But I only have a few months if I make it now to wear it. And I think the colors are more fall geared that are on that print. But I probably should get that print and show you. Okay, so I got the print. So I know I've talked about it. I've shown it on my videos before. I think it's gorgeous. And it's not see-through, but it is lightweight. It is so pretty. And I guess it could be kind of spring, but I initially thought it was very fall and winter and it would be a great dress. But now that I know how lightweight it is, I don't think a dress is what I should do with it. I think it would be better for just a tank top. And then if I have, I think I have one and a half or two meters. So if I could fit in a Freya and still have enough for a Deer and Doe plantain tee, like a short sleeve, Plantain tea for spring and summer, that would be ideal. And then I have two t-shirts out of it. Mm, possibly. It's got a great drape. Definitely needs to be a Freya. And see, even if I wore my scarf in the winter, it would work. I don't have a lot of greens or khakis, but I do love the peach and the pink in here. And even with the dark jeans, I think it would look stunning. But then now that i am got those chartreuse shorts I'm working on, this would probably look really good with it too if it was in a t-shirt. So that's my ramble. I do love this. I love all the animals, how they're in black and white and how the jungle around them is in color. Yeah. It's a great print, but it's one of those fabrics where I'm like, oh, I'm scared to, to make that cut into it. And I know so many of you can relate because I have a couple fabrics that I've had in my stash. I have one fabric in here that's been in my stash for, it's the only fabric that was in my stash for a very long time and it's up high, so I can't, it's up there. And it's a ditzy floral, blue floral print and it is a woven and I still haven't I still haven't cut into it and I've probably had that fabric for like however old this machine 
however, however old this machine is, is probably how long I've had that fabric. So six or seven, eight years. Ridiculous. I do have another pattern to show that this has been irking at me, kind of like those pants, the 9116s. This is Simplicity 8982. And I've seen some people post another pattern that's very similar also simplicity and here's where I want to focus on is top C it is got like a little mock turtle it has the bell sleeves kind of like a bishop sleeve and it is a fur knits how's that maybe a little better right so we have that it has its stretch guide at the top there I'm not really interested in making a knit skirt, but I do love that. I do like this top. And there's another simplicity pattern with variations of the same similar top, in my opinion. I'm not going to go buy that pattern. I'm going to try to use this pattern. But I have, I haven't really found a fabric that I want to use on that. And definitely I do not want to use that jungle print. That jungle print, I feel, is meant to be a Freya mock turtleneck for me first and foremost so I don't want to use it on that but this one is one I've been thinking about quite a lot and actually I like that the plain long sleeve crew neck top as well view B if you watch so essential she did over the summer she did a ver a short sleeve of this dress and I think she shortened the dress and she just made a short sleeve out of this on her own. And it looks really great. So that's why I bought this pattern. Was seeing hers. And thought I can do this. And I still haven't done it. So this has not been cut into. Opened at all. I would like to use this up. For part of my spring wardrobe. And I think this could be a transitional piece. That would look great with pants, jeans. Or a skirt. It's a matter of finding a great jersey knit fabric for it. I do not have a lot of jersey knit fabrics. I have a lot of jersey scraps and half yards. I have a lot of half yards that I got on a sale at Girl Charlie. Sometimes they sell a bunch of half yard lots. And for some reason one day I had a bug up my butt and I bought a whole slew of pink and purples of these half yards. And they're not bad. They're coming in handy for, for things, but I'm probably going to piece them all, color block them together and make something out of them. So that's been my um, progress since Friday. Lots of, the more I have time to watch and play online, the more I find other patterns I want and things I want to make. And I really need to focus on getting things done and moving on to the next project. So I'm going to focus, focus, Lisa, focus on getting that tank top done and those shorts done so I can move forward and then work on my mom's pants. And my mom's pants, the Stella Jaggers are a quick, quick make. You could spend an hour cutting your fabric out. And then it probably takes about two hours to make them. So it could be a one day project or you can break it up. I usually break up making those Stella Jaggers into two days. I cut it on one day and then I sew it the next day. And it's a very easy, simple make. Probably a great make for a sew along. I wonder if I should try my hand at sew along again. I know I said I would, but I have the worst luck with filming. <laughs> All right, guys, should I try that as a sew along? Have you made the Stella Joggers before? They are very easy and they're a lot of fun to make. Let me know and I will talk with you soon. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. <music>